Hello, my name is Greg Jew with Keysight Technologies here at IMS 2016. So 28 gigahertz spectrum is of interest for 5G applications. It is also a band which is currently being used by satellite. So it kind of begs the question, how will satellite and 5G coexist with one another? And so today what we're showing is a coexistence demo showing both a satellite uplink signal as well as a candidate 5G waveform. The test setup consists of our M8190, and actually this is an arbitrary waveform generator which we're going to be using to generate I and Q, but we also have our system view design software installed on the embedded controller of this M8190. So the system view workspace is shown here. It is generating both a satellite APSK signal as well as a candidate 5G custom OFDM waveform. They are combined with a signal combiner element, which basically takes the two input waveforms, resamples them to combine them and uh, create one composite waveform, which is then downloaded to the M8190. So we've done the simulation. We've downloaded the waveform to the M8190. We have I and Q coming out of the M8190. These are routed to the rear panel IQ inputs on the PSG to modulate them onto a 27.75 gigahertz carrier. The output signal is routed to our UXA, and this is the new 50 gigahertz UXA with one gigahertz of bandwidth. So here we're showing the spectrum of the candidate 5G waveform, the OFDM waveform, and the satellite up uplink waveform, which is a APSK waveform. And you can see that there is some separation between the two. So now let's take a look at how they're actually, how the satellite waveform is actually impacting the custom OFDM waveform. So to do this, I'm going to demodulate the custom OFDM waveform. I'm just going to go over here and on our touchscreen display, I'm going to click 89600 VSA software. So here we're doing the demodulation of the candidate 5G waveform, which is custom OFDM. So we have the constellation, we have the spectrum centered at 27.75, and we're looking at the EVM versus subcarrier. And we can see that even though the satellite signal and the candidate 5G waveform are starting to get close to one another, the satellite signal is having minimal impact to the, the OFDM waveform. Okay, so now let's take a look at a slightly different scenario. And what we're gonna do is basically kind of close the separation between the satellite uplink waveform and the custom OFDM waveform to see how that might impact our candidate 5G waveform. So what I'm going to do is go in system view, I'm going to click on this parameters tab, and I'm going to change the satellite APSK uplink frequency from 28.3 gigahertz to 28.275. I'm going to go back to the schematic view, and I'm going to launch the simulation to download the waveform from system view to the M8190 AWG. We can see that it's downloaded the waveform, and now we're starting to see that the satellite waveform is encroaching on the custom OFDM 5G candidate waveform. So now let's take a look at how it impacts the EVM of the custom OFDM waveform. So I'm going to go over here and switch from spectrum analyzer mode to the VSA software to do the demodulation. Okay, so now we're demodulating the custom OFDM 5G candidate waveform in this other scenario. And we can clearly see that the satellite signal is having an impact to the custom OFDM waveform. The constellation has some dispersion associated with it. We can see the satellite spectrum starting to encroach on the custom OFDM waveform. And we can see that for EVM versus subcarrier, on the side where we have the satellite waveform, the EVM is starting to creep up or tick up as a result of the satellite signal. So this is just one example of a type of scenario that can be explored. There are many different scenarios to explore. The way we see this working with uh, maybe receiver hardware is generating different interference scenarios, maybe running it into a 5G receiver that is being developed and see how these different interference scenarios would impact the receiver performance. For more information, please contact your local Keysight representative. Thank you.